Um, what got me involved in politics kind of stems back to when I was a teenager. I became very active as a community activist and went on demonstrations. It was during the time of Maggie Thatcher. It was the 1980s. There was lots of um, anti-racism demonstrations. And then from there, I became employed as a community development worker. I've been a trade union member since the age of 16. Um, and, you know, it's a highly politicised environment. I've been um, a trade union rep for 20 plus years. I'd been uh, branch secretary of a uh, local government branch for 11 years, regional convener for UNIS and Northwest for five years. So I was used to that political environment and climate. And of course, everything within our society has a political context. When you're a local councillor, you are very close to the people you represent all the time. You know, you walk around your ward most days and people will stop you and talk about things. And that's quite good really as a politician, you feel quite connected and close to people. Um, when I became deputy leader uh, of uh, my Labour group at the time, I did get quite a lot of support actually. Um, you know, it wasn't always easy. People occasionally said stupid things to me um, that were a bit inappropriate, but it was okay. When I became a member of parliament, you then have to go to Westminster every week and that's a challenge again. The culture of Westminster is actually often more traditional, you know, more backward looking than in a lot of local councils. Um, local councils, are, uh, you know, particularly if the politicians there are, are determined to make the culture change, they can do so, whereas things just seem to take a lot longer to change in Westminster. And you end up, you know, surrounded by a lot of people who don't want things to change actually so that's I would say being a member of parliament has has been harder in many ways and also you're under a lot of public scrutiny so as a woman that can uh, have its challenges. Incredibly daunting really um, it was really nice to to travel down with fellow colleagues and friends um, so I was with Kim Johnson and Kim Johnson and I um, share a parliamentary office now which is Grace um, but you know the system is not designed for people like me uh, you know a girl from a working class background to actually enter politics and you know sit on those green benches and represent a constituency there's lots of different barriers and obstacles to overcome um, but you know as a woman and a woman with an opinion um, I'm a tenacious woman and you know I have every right to sit on those green benches along with everybody else who's there um, so, you know, although it's daunting, you have to just sort of pinch yourself every so often and say, well, do you know what? You have every right to be there representing the constituents um, and, you know, making sure that their views are heard in Parliament. My anxiety levels in the first couple of weeks were very high because it's, you know, um, a new endeavour, not done it before. And, it, you know, in terms of the roles and remit of a new MP, are very broad. You know, you have to set up an office in Westminster, setting up a constituency office, employing staff, be involved in finances. So it's like setting up um, a, a, a business in that respect. Women will face a much higher level of scrutiny and actually I would say as a woman when it comes to what you look like and, and what you wear, you actually unfortunately can never win because even if you make loads of effort and look really formal and traditional, then you get called stuffy and a bit of a school mom. and if you, you know, go for a bit of glamour and, you know, look a bit more um, fashionable and trendy, then you'll get belittled by saying you look like you go to a disco. So actually, either way, you can't win. And what I've learned is that you just have to basically say, stuff it and wear what you like, wear what you want to wear and what you like and let other people get on with what they feel about it. And the most brilliant thing about Tracy's dress is that actually she auctioned it online and raised 20 grand for the Girl Guide Foundation. So if that isn't making lemonade out of lemons, I don't know what it is. And hats off to Tracy for being brilliant about it. always be bold and always be fearless. Your opinions matter just as much as anyone else. So you really do have to make sure that you're heard. Well, what I would say to young women about getting involved in politics is 
just do it you know start now by becoming active in local campaigns whether it be in your school in your community join the Labour Party or I'm saying the Labour Party because I am a, um, um, a Labour Party MP and um, get involved in tra the trade union movement if you're working but I would always say don't let anyone tell you that you can't do anything because people say I'm not interested in politics but what I will always say to everybody is that politics informs everything in your life so yeah get involved I would say just do it because if you f if you feel like you really want to be involved in politics the best way is is to just get in there because you really learn by doing whether it's standing for election you know you can't read about how to stand for an election in a book you've just got to get on and do it and you can take advice from people and there will be people who want to help and support you as well as people who will occasionally criticize but you have to be to a certain extent you have to be bloody minded and just believe in yourself get on with it and just do it and that is the best way to succeed always be kind and, and particularly with women because in my career um, and you know I started out in local government sadly I saw women who kept other women down and that does happen um, and then I had an experience of having a really really good manager who was a woman and uh, she inspired me uh, she uh, provided me with the tools that lifted me up um, and I'll never forget that. So always be a good sister. Always make sure that you help another woman up. Don't ever pull that ladder up. Leave it down for the next woman to come along.